which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood where the young child was. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Miracles have a way of repeating themselves, often in the most unlikely places. This is the story of the Magi, of the three wise men, as it really happened in communist-dominated Hungary shortly before Christmas 1956. Now, this was no Near East Christmas, no Holy Land. But the barbed wire frontier, iron curtain country, torn with revolution, flooded with frightened and desperate refugees, smugglers, spies, desperate men, and everybody hoping and praying for a miracle. And we call it a picture of the Magi. take from you, your lives, <laughs> and taken everything else. How is my pretty Aranka today? Did you bring me anything, Uncle Nicola? What a question. It's only a piece of bark. Magic bark. Whenever you feel bad, you take one smell of that bark and your troubles will disappear, poof, like that. Time for the broadcast. You promised to bring me candy. Candy? That's for Russian children. You're a Hungarian. We are happy to report that conditions everywhere are once more returning to peace and to normalcy. Radio Budapest, more lies. If these peaceful conditions will continue, it is strongly urged that all farmers make every effort to meet their wheat quotas. The loyal Hungarian farmer will not wish his countrymen to go hungry. That part is true. Don't be a fool. All if we Russian don't give it to our own people, we'll starve. They'll starve anyway. This is Free Radio Duna Petla. Free Radio Duna Petla, sponsored by the Freedom Fighters of Hungary. trying to get through. This is Free Radio Duna Petla. Free Radio Duna Petla, sponsored by the Freedom Fighters of Hungary. You've just it's heard so of lies. It's my brother! No it's so time! No, Aranka, you're mistaken. It is, I heard you say. No, I, I said it sounded like Zoltan. Your brother is in Budapest looking for work. Now, if anyone asks you that, what you must say. Oh, oh, yes. Aranka, why don't you go out to play now? Yes, I want to listen. Oh, you go over to Hilda's house. They have a new cafe there. If you're lucky, you might get to see it. Aranka, I forgot my bar. Warning to all farmers. The Russians intend to raise the already impossible wheat quotas. This is on the most reliable authority. Combined resistance is the only answer. Without farmers, the communists cannot carry out their plan. They cannot Picture again? Grain. You must do she would have been 18 years old if she'd lived. Already their trucks and armor... You're not the only father in Europe whose child died. If you burn your crops or destroy them... The war killed many children. We do not I had only one. Shh. We are not prepared to fight. You must hide or try to leave the country. 
Only in this way can the Russian tyranny be broken. It means another rush to the border. The guards will be doubled, redoubled. It's getting so an honest smuggler can't make a living anymore. A living? We can't even get out of the country. We'll leave when the time comes. We're perfectly safe here. What makes you so sure? Well, nobody comes near this old winery anymore. <laughs> you know, I've been thinking. Uh -huh. When a gypsy thinks, it's time to listen. I don't know. What have we been selling so far? Watches, cameras, nylons, fountain pens. Oh, very pens. profitable. Until the stupid revolt started. And that may not be so bad. Even if it is hard to get fresh merchandise, we can sell the people something else. Something they'll pay a lot more for. Such as? If we smuggled people across the border. Why, there must be hundreds who would pay. And... Can't be done without bloodshed. I tried it once. I had to kill a border guard. If we wanted double the bribe we'd agreed upon. I dislike death. Leaves a bad taste in my mouth. You may have to overcome your scruples about killing. Shh. Maybe you'll go away. We can't afford to be found here. Put that away. Only a child. Why have you come here? It's raining. I was on the way to Hilda's house. Come in. Come in. Wait a minute. She can talk. I'll see that she doesn't. What are you looking for? A small payment for security. There's something wrong with him. Children are loyal. This gift will buy her silence. Come here. I have here something that will protect you from the rain. It's pretty. <laughs> so are you. It's yours. But first you must promise me to tell no one where you got it. You must tell no one you saw us. I promise. Do you know what happens to little girls who break the promises? They never get to see the Christ child. That's right. You're a smart little girl. Run on home now. Thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. What's your name? Melchior. What difference does it make? Melchior. Forget that. Forgetting is part of our bargain. Remember, forget. You never saw us. You're just like the picture. Picture? What picture? She must have seen it on a poster. How big a reward? Ask her. It's a picture in my storybook. I know who you are. Y you do? You're Balthasar, the dark-skinned one. And you're Cash Bar. I am? And I know what you're doing. She knows too much. Wait. Let her talk. What are we doing? You're following the star. To the east. East? That's Russia. And then? And then you will see Mary and Joseph and the Christ child. That's right. You realize in these times such a mission is dangerous. I know. My father makes me hide my book. You must tell no one you saw us. Not your father. Not your mother. I promised. What's that? A gift. From me to the baby. Piece of bark. Magic bark. When you smell it, all your troubles disappear. That's what Uncle Miklos says. I'll be very sure the baby gets this. All these wonderful things for him. This is his. I can't take it. Oh, he won't mind. Besides, you gave him your magic bar. Thank you. And thank him for me. I wish you a happy journey. The same to you. Run on home now. Your parents will be worried. <laughs> Make sure you tell them nothing, understand? I understand, your majesty. You know? 
works. All over the world, it was Christmas, 1956, with all the hope and cheer symbolized by this happy holiday. Not in Hungary. Here, it was only the signal for more violence and oppression. Enemy agents and provocateurs continue with their troublemaking tactics. Citizens are warned. Death before the firing squad will be the swift penalty for all collaborators. Already a group of vicious counter-revolutionaries have been arrested in Duna Pentola, the illegal broadcasting station financed by foreign imperialistic powers. Sultan. Has been destroyed. All those in charge of this vicious treasonable operation have been arrested and executed. Oh, to all hackers and agitators, a stern warning. This is the decree Boy, of the people's democracy. Death to traitors. Any effort on the part of reactionary capitalistic tools of the Western powers will find that the people will make short work of their treasonable design. Turn it off. We there won't be any free radio for a while. We heard. I have just spoken to Rossi. He brings a message from Zoltan. Zoltan is dead. Lies, all lies. Your son is alive. He escaped. Miklos, where is he? No one knows where he is. Be thankful for that. But the Russians have found out who he is. Soon they will know you're his parents. You must get out of Hungary at once. Oh, no. My father, my grandfather, my great-grandfather tilled this soil before me. They can't make me leave. They don't want you to leave. They'd rather catch you. All right, let them come. I'll be waiting. Be sensible, man. Think of her. They won't harm a child, won't they? They'll do anything to capture Zoltan. Don't you understand? You're not important. It's him they're after. But if they hold you, they'll put pressure on Zoltan. They'll use his love for you to make him give himself up. Miklos is right, I'm told. How can we leave the country? I don't know where to start, what to do. We must find a way. But it's so difficult with a child. We have to have food and shelter. The weather's freezing. I know some people who can help. If they're still there. Who? I can't tell you. Aronka is becoming impossible. She won't tell us where she got this. She's just full of secrets. Uh, Aronka, who gave you this pretty umbrella? You can tell your Uncle Miklos. You told me never to break a promise. Aronka, listen. Sometimes you have to break a promise. Well, these people, they may be Russian agents. Who else would give you such a fine umbrella? It was a trade. I gave them your magic bar. Oh, Miklos. Aranka, I know it's hard for you to understand, but we're in great danger now. I know. We can no longer afford to keep secrets from each other. Tell us, Aranka, who are they? I promised. I promised. We haven't time for this nonsense. I can't tell you I can't. Aranka, please. Can you at least tell us what they look like? Do they belong here? Are they Hungarians like us, or are they strangers? Strangers. Strangers? You tell us who they are? No! I never did this to you before, Aronka. No, now no. it's a question of our lives and her life as well. No, no! She must tell us. You must, Aronka, you must. I... I... I'll show you their picture. Picture? It's here. I'll teach you to make fun of me. Wait. So there are three of them. I shouldn't have told you. They must be Russians. Wolves travel in packs. No, they're not Russians. What makes you so sure, Ranka, that they can help? They can go anywhere. Maybe if I ask, they'll take us with them. Out of the country? Yes, and even farther, much farther. How can they get out of the country if they're not Russians? They can. Let me go to them. Let me ask. Them. You go no place. You stay right here. Let her go, Antol. Huh? Let her go. You crazy. We must find out who they are. We'll follow her. She'll see us. Do as I say. Go on. All right, you may go. You come back quickly, you hear? I will. Antol, you really think she should... What choice have we?
It's the old winery. That's where they are, whoever they are. She might be in danger. Well, they didn't hurt her before. Why should they hurt her now? But maybe they are Russians. Then why are they in hiding? Why don't they come out and arrest you? Who knows why Russians do anything? If you could only take us with you, we wouldn't be any trouble. It doesn't have to be all the way. Have you told anyone where we are? No. You sure? I promise not to tell. Well, that's something. We've got to make sure she never tells. Oh, hush. We can't afford to be soft. Your bungling got us into this. You fool. If it weren't for that child, we'd never know that the Russians intended to search this little village. They'd have been sure to find us. We'd all be... Melchior's right. Melchior is always right. Where is she? My daughter, you have no right to... You followed me. Her uncle. And after I promised them... Oh, she lied. She did tell them. Oh, the gypsy smuggler. Try to prove it. My friends, the Russians are on their way here. You can't stay here, you must leave. What's that to you? Perhaps, perhaps you can take the child and her parents with you. That's out of the question. Too risky. It means certain death to them if they stay here. Their son was a leader in the freedom fighters. He operated the free radio. The Russians found out. He's the kind that makes all the trouble. Ruined our business. Beside the point. I agree, and I sympathize. But we can't risk our necks with excess baggage. We can't even take our own merchandise. Huh? Leave all this? No, not leave it. Use it. Trade with it. Use it to make good our escape. I know a Hungarian border guard, Yoshev Lahorsh. That renegade. True. But he's greedy enough to be trustworthy. Trustworthy? I've used him before. How do we know he won't take our stuff, then turn us over to the Russians? Because we won't give it to him until we've reached safety. You expect him to fall for that? Someone stays behind to guarantee delivery. You're not leaving me. Or me. An exchange? We'll take them with us. He's out of his mind. It's the price for his services. The only price. Am I right? No. Miklos, you can't. What if Yoshev betrays you? Betray? No, Anto. He cannot do that without putting a rope around his own neck. Yoshev is a greedy man, as I've said. He'll be interested only in the booty. Make sure you hide it well. Don't worry. But how will I know that he's fulfilled his part of the bargain? When we've reached safety. When we're across the border, I'll fire a rocket. Watch the sky tonight. Watch the star. The star of Bethlehem. Yes. Yes, Aronka. Fifty yards to your right. You can crawl under the barbed wire, but you must keep low. There are Russian patrols everywhere. One never knows where they turn up. We'll keep low. I'm taking a big risk. You've not lied to me about the merchandise. The smuggler can't afford to break his word. How could I stay in business? Well, if you have, it would go badly with your hostage. Hostage? Miklos. Now, don't make a move. Give me a chance to get away. That skunk. It hurts to leave him so much valuable goods. Our necks are more valuable. He's a good contact man. I have a plan. Not now. I worry for Miklos. You needn't. You worry about your family. Worry about your child. You don't have to worry at all. Does he, Melchior? No. No, of course he doesn't. We're not over the border yet. All right. Start. Yatibi Bijo! Who's there? The dog betrayed us. No, he warned us about the patrols. Chenia Ubijai. We 
do now? No, no, no. Oh. They worry too? One chance. I'll lead them a chase. The rest of you, quickly, after I've drawn them off. They will catch you. They've never caught me before. Must you leave us? I'll meet you across the border. Wait for me by the old rock. How long? Until it... Until I fire a rocket. If I do, you need to wait no longer. Why are you doing this? He is a wise king, father. Have faith. That's right, little one. Take care of her. Is where we wait? Yes. I'm cold. How long must we wait for Melchior? Not long. Peaceful here. He's gone to see the Christ child. Join us for Telephone Time next week. Until then, we remain sincerely yours, the Bell Telephone System.